Namaste, this is Samta Auntie. In class, you learned the Hindi words for apple, orange, and banana, and you also learned some vocabulary around spatial direction, like on top, below, inside, and outside. So in this video, we're going to review all of those things that we learned, okay? So first, let's start by reviewing the vocabulary words. Apple is save, orange is santara, and banana is gela. Let's do those again. Apple is seb, orange is santara, and banana is gela. Let's do it again. Apple is seb, orange is santara, and banana is gela. Now let's do some practice problems. And I want you to look at the pictures and tell me which fruit it would be. Would this be seb, santara, or gela? These are oranges, so santara. What about this one? Save Santara Kela. Kela. This one? Save Santara or Kela. Save. This one? Save Santara or Kela. Santara. This one? Save Santara or Kela. Save. This one? Save Santara or Kela. Kela. This one, save Santara or Kela. Santara. This one, save Santara or Kela. Save. And this one, save Santara or Kela. Kela. This one, save Santara or Kela. Santara. And this one, save Santara or Kela. Save. And this one, save Santara or Kela. Kela. All right. So now that you've done a lot of practice problems and you've had a chance for these words to absorb into your brain, now we're going to do more practice problems, but you are not going to see the words. So we're going to test your memory to see if you remember these three words. So what is orange in Hindi? Santara. What is apple in Hindi? Save. What is banana in Hindi? Kela. What is orange again? Santara. What is apple again? Save. What is banana? Kela. What is apple again? Save. And what is orange again? Santara. What is banana? Kela. What is banana one more time? Kela. And what is orange? Santara. And this one has two answers. What do you see in this picture? You see Kela or Save. All right. Good work. Now we're going to take this one step further by creating full sentences. So I want you to put the sentence together. The banana is yellow. How would we say that in Hindi? The banana is yellow. I'm gonna give you a few seconds to think about it. Okay, so you should, you've learned how to say banana and you should know from previous lessons how to say yellow in Hindi. So to put it together in a sentence, we say, Kela pila hai. Kela pila hai. Now what about this one? The apple is red. How would we say this in Hindi? Okay, we would say, Seb lal hai. Seb lal hai because apple is seb, we just learned, and red is lal. Seb lal hai. All right, what about this one? The orange is orange. This is kind of a funny sentence. The orange is orange. Okay. So this one would be 
Santara Narangi hai. So this is something that's unique in Hindi compared to English. In English, we just have one word for orange, right? The color and the fruit. We call them both orange. But in Hindi, we have two separate words. In Hindi, the fruit is santara and the color is narangi. So the sentence would be santara narangi hai. All right, good work. Let's review these words one more time. Apple is save. Orange is santara. And banana is Gela. Great. Now let's learn some new phrases. Okay. We're going to talk about item position. And what I mean by that is we're going to be learning what these words mean. Ke upar, ke niche, ke andar, and ke bahar. Okay. Ke upar means above or on top. Ke niche means below or under. Ke andar means inside of and ke bahar means outside of okay so let's review this one more time above or on top is ke upar under and below is ke niche inside of is ke andar and outside of is ke bahar one more time above or on top is ke upar. Under or below is ke niche. Inside of is ke andar. And outside of is ke bahar. All right. So now we're going to do some practice problems. And I want you to tell me which one you would choose. Ke upar, ke niche, ke andar, or ke bahar. So the sentence is, they're sitting outside of the tent. So would it be ke upar, ke niche, ke andar, or bahar? And if you're a little confused on these still, that's okay. That's why we're practicing. But use the pictures to guide you. Okay, so this picture is showing you that these arrows are on top. This arrow is showing you that the water is below. This is showing an open box with things going inside of it. And this last one is showing an open box with things coming out of it. Okay, so which one do you think this would be? They're sitting outside of the tent. Outside would be ke bahar. Next one. They're standing below the car. Below. Which one is below? Ke upar, ke niche, ke andar, or ke bahar? Ke niche. Ke niche is below. All right, they're swimming under the sea. So which one would it be? Ke upar, ke niche, ke andar, or ke bahar? Ke niche. They're cleaning windows outside of the building. Outside. Ke upar, ke niche, ke andar, or ke bahar? This would be ke bahar. The clothes are inside the closet. Inside. Would that be ke upar, ke niche, ke andar, or ke bahar? Ke andar. They're exercising on the deck. On the deck. Would that be ke upar, ke niche, ke andar, or ke bahar? That would be ke upar. The dog is hiding under the sofa. Ke upar, ke niche, ke andar, or ke bahar? Under. Ke niche. She's inside the castle. Ke upar, ke niche, ke andar, or ke bahar? Ke andar. She's doing a handstand on top of the surface. Would that be ke upar, ke niche, ke andar, or ke bahar? Ke upar. They're hiding under the blanket. Would that be ke upar, ke niche, ke andar, or ke bahar? Ke niche. The helicopter is on top of the building. Ke upar, ke niche, ke andar, or ke bahar? Ke upar. All right, so now you know what comes next. You've had a chance to learn these words, so now we're going to test your memory. 
So the kids are playing inside the box, inside the box. So would that be, what, what would it be? I don't want to tell you. I want you to tell me. What would the answer be? Okay, under. She's inside the castle. Another ge under. She's doing a handstand on top of the surface. Ge upar. They're sitting on top of the car. Ge upar. They're sitting outside of the tent. Ge bahar. They're under the sea. Niche. The dog is hiding under the sofa. Niche. The dog house is outside of the house. The dog house is outside. Bahar. They're hiding under the blanket. Niche. The water is in the bucket. Under. The toys are inside the box. Okay, I'm done. All right. Now let's put this all together and create some full sentences. Okay, so we're going to refer to the fruit vocabulary that we learned as well. So we want to say the orange is inside the basket. The orange is inside the basket. So how do you think we would say that sentence? And if you don't know how to say basket in Hindi, that's okay. Just use the word basket. I'm going to give you a few seconds to think about the answer. How would you say this whole sentence in Hindi? Okay, we would say, Santara basket ke andar hai. Santara basket ke andar hai. The orange is inside the basket. Now, one thing you should think about and notice is that in Hindi, the order of the words is different than the order of the words in English. Hindi is a, is a language where we have the subject, then the object, and then the verb. And in English, we have subject, object, verb. Subject, verb, object, excuse me. Subject, verb, object. So that's something that makes Hindi and English very, very different from each other. Okay? So in, in Hindi, again, it's subject, object, verb. So let's do this one. The apple is on the table. Okay, let's take a look at the answer. Seb mej ke upar hai. Seb mej ke upar hai. All right, last one. The banana is below the table. Kela mej ke niche hai. Kela mej ke niche hai. And if you didn't know that table is mej, that's okay. You can just say the word table. No worries. So kela mej ke niche hai. So great work on this. This was kind of a longer lesson. We learned some fruits. We also learned some new phrases about space, space of items relative to each other. And we put together full sentences. So excellent work. Danya Bud for joining me. I'll see you in class.